Welcome back, fam scribers. In today's video, we're going to make some seafood stuffed bell peppers. Don't forget to hit that like, the share, the subscribe button. Tell your mama and them, your daddy and them, your ain't and them. We cooking, we eating, and we always repeating. Is what? Vittles time. All right. Let's read Leviticus 11, 1 through 10. Sunshine Grant shared that verse with us, and I wanted to read it to us. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, say to the Israelites of all the animals that live on land, these are the ones you may eat. You may eat any animal that has a divided hoof and that chews the cud. Y'all already know what that is. And it lists a whole lot of stuff that I know I've been eating. And most likely going to keep eating. Because it's a lot of that in this video right here. And that's the pig. But just say you can eat some cow. But uh, a lot of y'all don't need to be out there eating the cow because uh, y'all got gout. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. And then for uh, the fish that they say we can't eat, which is catfish. I love me some catfish, y'all. Uh, thank God Jesus came and died for our sins. But anyway, y'all can read it for yourself uh, on your own time. In this video right here, I am going to teach y'all how to make seafood stuffed bell peppers. So... You seen what we already got going on. We washed our bell pepper. We cleaned them out. We did all of that. We did that. We cleaned our shrimp, got them ready. We fried up some sausage. Uh, the recipe for the stuffing that I used is my, my dirty rice recipe. So if you want to know what the stuffing is, go to the dirty rice recipe and make the dirty rice. And then come back to this video so that you could do the seafood portion. That's all you got to do. That's it. That's all. But as y'all watch the video, I'm going to really dive into that verse and read it word for word. We already got the first part out, which is say to the Israelites of all the animals that live on the land. These are the ones you may eat. You may eat eat any animal that has a divided hoof and they choose the cud. There are some that only chew the cud or only have a divided hoof, but you must not eat them. The camel chews cud, but does not have a divided hoof. It is ceremonial, ceremonially <laughs> unclean for you. The hyrax, I don't even know what a hyrax is. I'm going to have to go look that up. Though it chews the cud, does not have a divided hoof. It is unclean for you. The rabbit, though it chews the cud, does not have a divided hoof. It is unclean for you. And the pig, though it has a divided hoof, does not chew the cud. It is unclean for you. You must not eat their meat or touch their carcasses. They are unclean for you. Of all the creatures living in the water, of the seas, and the streams, you may eat any that have fins and scales. But all creatures in the seas or streams that do not have fins and scales, whether among all the swarming things or among all the other living creatures in the water, you are to regard as unclean. Child, my dear, sweet catfish. <laughs> yeah. It's a no-go. All right, let's make this cream sauce. Y'all seen everything I did to put into the stuffing part of the bell pepper. So you're going to want to stuff them first, and then you're going to want to make a cream sauce. You don't have to make this sauce. I just deem it important to tell you how if you want to take your seafood stuffed bell peppers to another level. If you want to come to Flavor Town, this is what you're going to do. But if you want to stay in flavorless town, then don't even go to this step. Because some people can't make it over here. Everybody, you know, everybody ain't used to their taste buds singing and they barely happy. Everybody ain't used to that. Some people like, you know, keep it a little light. And we respect you. So you stay on that side of the bridge while we cross over. All right. So you're going to put a tablespoon. I use cornstarch. You can use all-purpose flour. It is Whatever you want it to be. I like to use cornstarch. You're going to put in a little two packs of butter, which is two tablespoons of butter, a little olive oil. 
Then you're going to pour in after you cook the your cornstarch or your flour, whichever one you deem you want to do. You're going to pour in a cup of heavy whipping cream. Then you're going to add in your favorite seasoning. As you can see, I use bow rays. I use a little ginger. I use some minced onion. I'm going to get that stirred in. A little garlic powder. All of that good stuff. I'm still adding seasoning, as you see, because where we going? Flavor time, people. Flavor time. I'm going to stir that. Stir it real good. Mix it in real good. Please use a non-stick skillet if you have one. Don't don't put this in no cast stand because you're going to burn so fast. We're going to add in a cam of a cam a can of cream of mushroom soup we should be adding a little water somewhere here and there there we go y'all know i like to stir it around baby get all that out of there honey because we paid for it we paid probably a dollar 25 for that can uh with inflation probably a dollar 50 we don't know we're gonna add in a few bay leaves and one cinnamon stick if you don't have a cinnamon stick but you do have some cinnamon Put a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. It takes, let me tell y'all something. It takes your food to a whole nother level. As you can see, I add in a little bit more of my favorite seasoning. You add in your favorite seasoning. If you don't have a particular uh, favorite seasoning, use that kicking chicken. And if you can find Weber kicking chicken, I'm sure you can find it online. Kicking chicken and uh, season all. If you got Lowry season salt, you do you, baby. That stuff too salty for me. But season all by McCormick. Put in a little of your favorite hot sauce, your favorite Chipotle hot sauce, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little. Because where we going? Flavor town, honey child. We halfway across this bridge. You hear me? So I add a little bit more season. I taste my food as I go. But with this cream sauce, you got to keep stirring. You got to keep stirring. Time to remove that cinnamon stick. Don't worry about removing no cinnamon because you can't. You done got it in there. Leave it in there. Now we're going to take this sauce. And you see how pretty those bell peppers are. We're going to pour this sauce out. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Go, 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 you can cook. Woo! Anyway, I want to pray over y'all right quick. Heavenly Father, I want you to bless them and touch them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. May you bless them back with the time they have given to me tenfold. All right, y'all, we're going to pop these in the oven at 375. Remember, this is really already cooked. We just trying to brown that uh, good old cheese we got on there. That's it. That's all. 375. Throw it in there to your cheese melt and your, 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 your bell peppers are nice and soft. So they're going to bake for a good maybe 35, 40 minutes. I forgot to show y'all. Put some foil on there before you dump them into the oven. Well, not dump them, but put them in the oven. Put a little foil on there for about 30 minutes and then remove the foil. Put some more cheese on there. And then this how they look. This is what they came out looking like. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.